blood, sweat, and little cloth crosses or the, turban of the turbans of the Muslim infidels. That is the sight one would see if they were taking place in one of the Crusades. The era known as the Crusades was a time of long and bloody wars fought by the Catholic Church in countries that practiced Catholicism against the Muslim rulers of Northern Africa and the Middle East. <sighs> the First Crusade was called by Pope Urban II in order to reclaim the Byzantine lands of Anatolia taken by the Celtic Turks. The Christians sought to retake these lands because they thought that they right rightfully belonged to the Christians. Um, specifically, the Eastern Orthodox Christians controlled the um, controlled by the Byzantine Empire under Emperor Alexius I. Emperor Alexius I called upon the Pope and his Catholic neighbors to push the Seljuk Turks out of Anatolia. The lands were reconquered but not returned to them, and the, uh, the object of the crusade quickly became to retake uh, Jerusalem, which had not been under Catholic control for hundreds of years. During subsequent crusades, the goal tended to stay the same as the original. Retake holy lands from the Muslims, but some of the crusades were simply to defend the land that they had taken in previous crusades. And the Fourth Crusade even ended with the Crusaders sacking the Byzantine capital of Constantinople and establishing the Latin Empire, which severely weakened the Byzantine Empire. There are a few minor crusades to instill Catholicism in European provinces that, were, uh, that, were not, that did not worship Catholicism. They were not near as large as the major crusades, but they're still considered crusades because the Pope endorsed them. On the Muslim sides, the Seljuk Turks had taken Anatolia about a couple, a couple decades before this, and the uh, Byzantines called upon the Catholics to cut, and the, their armies cut wide swaths through the Muslim territory, and they conquered all of their lands on the Mediterranean coast that was owned by the uh, Seljuk um, uh, Empire. In the Crusades after this, they, uh, they were mainly defensive for the Muslims, and most of them just resulted in the same land being traded back and forth between the Catholics and the Muslims. And the third even ended with guaranteed safe passage for both Muslims and Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land. Some other affected people included the Jews in Europe. Uh, while many ar uh, Catholic armies marched through the lands, some of them decided that they didn't like these infidels being so close to home, which led to events such as the Rhineland Massacre in Germany, which, uh, <laughs> which happened when many Jewish set settlements in Germany were burnt down. This caused anti-Semitism in Europe to be further reinforced. <laughs> Another group affected were the pagans. The Baltic Crusades was one example of when the crusade was called against the pagans. The Holy Roman Empire and some of its neighbors desired land, so they called a crusade against these northern pagans. <clears throat> Crusades had a profound impact on modern history, and some, con some consider them one of the main reasons for the strife between Christian and Islamic people. While Christian and Islamic people were not the only people to be affected, the Jews um, and this era of anti-Semitism left over from these, uh, the years following the Crusades Brought about, uh, helped bring about the rise of Nazi Germany. A lot of people in the area didn't see the Jews as humans, or they saw them as subhumans. So when the, um, <clears throat> when the Nazis decided that they wanted to get rid of them, it didn't seem like that big of a deal. In the Middle East, ISIS and other Islamic terrorist groups have declared a jihad against Christians due to the hatred between the two religions that could be attributed to the atrocities committed on both sides during the Crusades. Some groups even go so far as to directly blame the Crusades and state them as a reason for their jihad. A second-hand effect of this hatred can be felt in America today. While America is not technically a Christian nation, some, both domestic and foreign, consider it such, and therefore, uh, <clears throat> and therefore it makes it easier for these Islamic terror groups to declare jihad against us as well as the uh, countries in Europe. The Crusades left a huge impact on both people during the era itself and in modern times. The Crusades were long and bloody and left huge impact, uh, huge impact on the world. Many took part in the Crusades, and some were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. The Crusades impacted modern history not through the specific acts that happened, but through the strife that was caused because of those acts. 
The Crusades perpetuated hatred and intolerance and can be blamed for a lot of problems we have today when seeking peace, both in the Middle East and at home.